What's the innovation part of your dish? Uh, it will be the idea I'll be explaining with you. Okay, saving it for that. We'll wait, right. we'll wait for that. Yes. yes. Questions will come in the judging round. <laughs> <laughs> Simple but yet elegant. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like to use uh, skin. 
Afternoon. <laughs> I'm making this uh, smoke pork with uh, dried celery leaf and fermented soybean fermented. And then I smoke celery uh, over there. I will pass it over the uh, mash celery and celery. And then I'll dress this over it. Mm -hmm. And then I will take this uh, one. Oh, you will bake it. Yeah. But I time is running out. I have lunch the Okay. The youngest. So what's the innovation in this? Innovation round the robot. Creative way, because we'll be judging on that, especially. So, I'm not going to do Chabra, is it like I'm going to cook a home? Hello, I'm not going to talk. We're trying a new recipe. All right, all the best. Good afternoon. Please tell us about your. What is the other name for Sumer? All the best. Hello. Today I'm preparing to how to keep time. This is for uh, ginger and lemon tea. So your cake is ready? Not yet, it's in the oven. All the best. Thank you.
हेलो हेलो चले जाओ Oh yes, yes, yes. Hapta kang jibum, hapta kang jibum. Season three, okay. Good afternoon. Ako na luxury busi Shanghai Festival hapta kang jibum dani. Aduga ako na luxury busi Shanghai Chef Competition Season three. Aduga ng sigi competition na si Innovation Round ni. Innovation Round si da ako yung contestant may am si na masamasagi o iba wakalon food ay basi bukarino chinja ay basi karino mo na idea hapaga mo yung creative mind season na rakanda ako yung plate to ba masung ako yung round sigi o ina ako yung judging to gada basi sigi innovative round si da o gada bani aduga more than that ako yung tagzari basi yung competition si mostly ako yung local indigenous Produk saya amuzer eh, si saya amse, aku ina globally kamaina promote tau sige kamaina aku ina culinary map ta around the world si da saya am da kamaina aku ina sak tak sige, hebo do adu gi main motifs ti adu na oj jabni aku gi main motifs eh, adu ga aku ina si da sinjel langjar ibu si di competition si makan makan saya am ama contestant sing si na semak pa aku ida aku ina uning ibu do, saya am aku ida judge ina labour matam or aku ida organise Jing team dasu, yang mana anu boleh na, aku itu dasu pauk zai, aduga competition zai ngasi hujik luar aktor eh, aduga luar minit kara mengatara mutang area luar kata bagi timing se, aduga aku itu judging round doh hujar gani, aduga some viewers me ambu su online kau yang bina bawa aku itu nolong nai seri. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Chef Joel. Uh, I've come all the way from uh, Dimapur, Nagaland, to judge the Shanghai Shanghai Chef Season Three, and it's a privilege for me to come here. I just landed today, and uh, today we have the round for I I Chef Innovation. So innovation is something where the contestants they will take ingredients and uh, create something different but only using local ingredients and as you can see in the back that uh, there's so much of uh, abundance of indigenous uh, ingredients available in northeastern states and uh, it's time to promote in a bigger way and in a better way so we have uh, like this competitions which encourages uh, contestants which encourage encourages uh, entrepreneurs they become after winning the competition they become chef printers they become uh, they open their own restaurants and all so it's a good platform for young budding talents to get this platform so i congrat congratulate the ministry of uh, tourism for manipur and also the 
brain behind this, which is uh, Chef Chang, and all the best to the contestants. And whoever wins, may the best man or woman wins. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Muli Kipgan. I am a faculty for culinary arts and food production for State Institute of Hotel Management, Manipur. So I am here since day one with Chef uh, Assem. So about the competitors, the, uh, we have seen them from the day one and today is day seven I guess. So I think they are growing every day. So day one, uh, we can't see much of the efforts from the competition competitors, but comparing day one and day seven, they like it has been like you know a big change uh, the way they present their food. So they are we are looking forward for the best person to win this competition and uh, and then uh, some of the competitors they are extremely good like uh, uh, they are beyond our you know uh, uh, what we think like we don't expect them to be this good uh, but I thank tourism department as well as Popa restaurant for organizing this type of event so that the people young birds will come up and like they'll become um, uh, uh, one day they might become entrepreneur or restaurant uh, they might have their own restaurant so I appreciate Ministry of Tourism as well as Popa restaurant thank you so much Hello everyone, I am Taimila Marcheng, a Sangai Chef Season 3 Gi host Dojeri. Queen Larry Basi Sangai Chef Season 3 Hapta Kang Jai Bung Dene. Handaki season is the uh, 10 contestants. Lay Jay, 
Moisi Manipurgi district mayam degila e moyam excellent oe yam hai and also we have excellent judges coming in every day we have two, uh, two main judges chef uh, Nikesh and chef Kibgen amasung nong nong gi ai koi gi round sigi every day round tongale dunga sisi na day 7 ki round oe asigi uh, judge guest judge asi chef Joel Basumatri all the way from Nagaland malaga ai play ada ai koi gi sangai chef asi uh, Curator si Mrs. Uh, Shang Multho, magna curator ne, adaga Chingyo Shenglai mana uh, assistant curator ne. Ekoi gisi date uh, 30 dalo jagani, adha mayam na IST vidha yeng bio, adaga hauzi yeng biri ba noy mayam busi yam nung ajare hai busi hai jani.
Ayi ming na shang koi popagi proprietor ni si sangai chef ay bisi ay aduga ayi team na silaga si organized tau bne sponsor si na tourism department tau bie adu tourism department director ngon desu ay koi yam na harau ba pungdok bni si gumba ay koi bu cuisine si promote tau nangai platform si pb bagi damagta aduga ay koi gi contestant sing si mi tara na participate tau eh tribe tongan tongan bdagi Mukoi si bu, ikoi nahan na application si lokat laga audition toraga, ikoi na select toraga si dat ten day si competition tohan mene. Adu ka huji ikoi tau besi na different round si besi, like ikoi na han bda vegetarian round, vegetarian round si kari gi ikoi na shaman mra high bhi maram di, ikoi si vegetarian si healthy oye. Adu ka vegetarian si cha besi, ikoi na vegetarian cha besi de ikoi na Encourage tau ba, adu ka ano ano ba vegetarian dishes asisu ikoy ki indigenous ki ingredients sing may am si da thamri ba sing si season na raga ikoy na thong ba thak ba si ano ba menu su create tau na ngay hay na ikoy na si vegetarian round si thambani nga thong ba ki round su le nga thong ba si ikoy na han na season seasons ikoy na tau ki ba cooking competition da competition tau ba matam da contestant sing na ikoy na Tong tong nama high benda ngasi pak mui na juice tau de. Adu kita mak tu ikhui na ngasi cawe si ikhui kita healthy way. Adu adu encourage tau ba adu ga adu ki vision de ikhui na ngagi round chule. Thali high si thali high lagi na ikhui manipuri thali high lagi na ikhui ki maite ki thali adu kak tak ikhui ki wakan de lah. Adu yam paye adu ikhui dum chatteri. Adu bu, ekoi ki tribal ki thali hai bukan deh di ekoi kita sini hai bu si lagi tau ni na contestant sing sini na tongan tongan mat tribe tu ki lagu sing si bu masa masa ki cuisine ki thali create tau han ba adu ke ekoi na create tau bagi matung deh si si promote tau ba hai bu si si su ekoi thali round deh ekoi si semai na moy bu tambi bu ne adu ke ati ati round si nine days si ekoi na chatta bu si deh childhood memories moy ki signature days Steam tower kita thong bagi method, ayat na tongan tongan ber round si le, adu ngasih si na ikut innovation round hai besi, innovation round si da ikut lagi indigenous ki product ikut si da manipur da pangba, ikut farmer singi potok si si jenar kita keram bagi moong da ikut na improvise tower kita shame raga asih si market ta market tu bayar bra hai bagi mod ta ikut na si si thamza bane, adu ngasih lagi. Sangai Chef Cooking Competition ki vision sina. 
Equigi cuisine si Manipuri cuisine si Equi Manipuri tribal cuisine si Equi promoto ba aduga Asi promoto baganda equina farmers in the pochi season of Sida Equigi Manipur lady by Equigi farmers in Sigi pochi si su value legity demand legni Moigi pot kin pochi sing Equigi Moigi potok sing si Equina demand si create tone ba Asi gi vision the so Equina si Cooking competition si organised tau bni. Ado ekoi online deso yang biba ekoi ki viewers mayam yam harawe comment apa apa deso ekoi na dum paba pange. Ado ko comment karan na Manipuri thali oragadi chakem pomba iron ba nata na shingju udre kadai deso layer bro ado koi dihai na hangye. Ado ekoi na hiding bna. Ekoi Manipuri ki cuisine si di shingju iron ba chakem pomba ado dagi hen na mayam lay bni. Ado ay ko'y na putok tapa. Asi platform si lay tapa si putok na bisi ay ko'y mayam. Ado gita magta hoy ay ko'y iron ba sa kampong ba singjusu siyempre. Ado dagi hena si ay ko'y na mayam si putok raga contestants sing na nine contestants ten contestants sing na ten days thong raga di like hundred ano ba recipe si create tohan bni. Ado ka recipe mayam si ay ko'y na compile tohan raga edit tohan raga book ama o ina pangdok ni high book isu ekoy gi ekoy gi dal leye adu may am si ekoy na government gi tourism department gi support leye dragi di ekoy na ninga masu ekoy gi vision do leye dragi su support leye dragi ekoy pangtok pang amroy adu ni na tourism department da ekoy yam na harau bisi pangdok ninge isum Manipur gi cuisine may am si sumay na platform si da ekoy si bu display tohan ba Ado ka promote tau ngay ako ibo sumay na opportunity pibibig sa gitna magtayam harawe ay na pongdok ninge. Ado nga si si ako yung last second day ore hayeng hayeng sule. Ado hayeng si ako yung adum na ako yung may am viewers may am musu. Amo ka hayeng so ako yung minase ay bisig hayning bni. Thank you very much. Le pendo son para, ¿cierto? Le pendo si es un pan de arma, no hay una botada. Le We request contestant number one, Tadar Shim from Tainopal to present her dish. Once again, the dish I have today is uh, my hale, uh, uh, sorry, hal an, which means uh, pumpkin with uh, pumpkin dried buff uh, dish. So uh, the first step I did is uh, steam the pumpkin, uh, and I have uh, I I went chai with Sprinkle? Yeah, I sprinkled uh, a little bit of salt and chili powder while steaming. That's the first process for the uh, dish. And uh, mm, the stuffing which I have on top, uh, that is a uh, uh, tomato puree with uh, yeah tomato puree with a uh, dry puff. I first uh, I heat the oil and put the uh, dry puff. I fried it a little bit so that it gets a little uh, chewy uh, texture. Uh, 
uh, texture. And then I put the puree, and then chili powder, chili flakes, and salt, and a little bit of garlic, and ginger. That's for the stuffing. On top, I have poached egg, which I made it with passion fruit juice and water. And I just put it directly uh, into the uh, boiling water, which is not fully boiled, hot water. That's how I made it. And I have uh, garlic rice, mild flavor of garlic rice, okay. which uh, which you can uh, which uh, you, which you'll be having with uh, passion fruit and three tomato sauce. Okay, that's mm -hmm. it. I roasted the onion. I blanched it and roasted the onion uh, for the company. <laughs> also, I have we call it barong in my dialect. I'm not very sure in English uh, word, but we call it barong, which mm -hmm. is uh, optional. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I, I steam the pumpkin. Uh, not, uh, it's not fully cooked because I want to give the a little bit of crunchy texture. So, so that what's that crunchy texture called? <laughs> yeah, there is a term for it. So I'm not. I I don't exactly get the word right now. <laughs> So you'll be having with the egg. Yes. So suppose if you are serving this in a restaurant, yes. would you come out every time the dish and you will do like this or no? no? Uh, we guess, are guests will do it. Yes, the guests will do okay. it itself. Okay. So this is how you'll be mm -hmm. uh, having it. So it's a complete meal on its own. You yes. have starch, you have protein, you have rice, vegetables. Yes, so it's a complete meal. Yes. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> okay. So when you're working with a round object, pumpkin is round, no? Yes. So you should create some base so that it doesn't move. Right. Thank so you so much. You're finding much. it difficult? Yes, a little. So if you cut a little bit right. and put it, it will stay in the plate so that you can work more Definitely. efficient. Thank you so much for the input. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. Yeah, I'll go with this. Digging, chef. Uh, sauce. Okay, I, I missed to mention I have sugar and salt. Both sugar and salt in the uh, tomato the sauce. Yeah, yeah. Some more of this. Oh, 
I'm also trying to wait. Is that to be eaten with the rice or just? Yes, with the rice. Okay, you can pour some. I'll try with the rice. Okay. What do you think, Chef? Mm. There are some hits, there are some miss with this. Like uh, when you're presenting a dish, uh, you cannot be giving a whole bulb of garlic. Oh. Uh, th this one. Oh, oh, Suppose okay. if you okay, have. I forgot to mention. Uh, okay. So, if, all right. so it's so you, raw or. No, it's cooked? not raw. It's steamed. Steamed. Uh, which you. Uh, in case if you want more flavor of garlic in the rice, you can always mash it together. No, the, garlic, the rice already has a lot of yeah. garlic yeah. Yeah. flavor into it. Yeah. So, like, if you want to put something or other, you can put some sliced uh, garlic, fried, and garlic chips. Uh, yeah, garlic chips to go along with it. And then, uh, when you sauce is something, when you are accompanying a dish with a sauce. So, sauce basically, we give it as an accompaniment to the dishes that we are having. So, suppose if you are having a steak with a sauce, which is we call jus. So it has to be thick consistency. Okay. This is very water consistency. Okay. So it's just uh, constructive feedback okay. we're giving. Yeah? Thank you. It has to be more thick All right. so that it can glaze. We call it glazing okay. uh, to glaze the rice or the dish that you are making. So that, that helps in uh, uh, a, a customer having properly. You know? okay. so Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Chef, what oh, do you yeah. think? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, yes, I agree with Chef Joel. Like, you can't call this a s sauce, okay? This is not a sauce consistency. Okay. You can call this a sauce, right? Mm. But you can't call this a sauce. But overall, nice, good. Thank you so it's, much. It's a nice It's dish. a good effort. Thank you. And uh, I would... Uh, I could taste sweetness and like you said you added sugar to it right yes. uh, the acidity has dropped down because tomatoes are slightly tartness that acidity but if you focus on that a little bit more it will you know it will round up the palate okay, the sugar part or oh, the acidity okay, like the if acidity. you could balance because sweetness is a little ahead of the okay. the tartness and okay. the acidity of the tomato okay. thank you so thank much you. thank you thank you very thank much you. Harsh. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, contestant number one. Up next, contestant number two, Abon May from Senapati. Uh, just a gentle reminder to all the contestants one, when present, maybe it will be good if you can also say, like, whether your dish is totally your recipe or you improvised. Thank you. Good afternoon, judges. Good afternoon. Uh, friends, I'd like to confess something to our uh, chef Joel. Actually, I want to speak in English, but if I speak in Manipuri, I feel like uh, oh, no, she's more comfortable. So, yeah, 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 no problem. We'll be the translator. Uh, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> okay. It's good. It's Hope good. You mind. No, no, it's good. You use your own tribal language. <clears throat> มีเนี่ยเซลล์เพรเพอร์ตอรี่บัดดิสไอ้กิมแมนอาซีเกนอะนอมมังคะจิคเก้นไฮไนนันเนมติมัดดิสอาซีกิมมิงซินเนมโต
tizizu yum de isai hose organic ne adunina color si apoy instead of using uh, light soy sauce or dark soy sauce ay adu tizi use to ni aduga ginger garlic and then um, onion ada nomong ka and then matak ta in garni stone ngay ngay black sesame and then cilantro adu ita use to it okay. ayat ope use to it and then this is deep fry ko ako yung deep fry siya usukan di uh, any restaurant which is tapo matam da chips kumadi ang chan ay am available o yung potato ngay adu ay na kari ngay si ngay si si sweet potato nga pan yam taro adu use to it ni kaya ino ayda ako yung taro yam asi ay kari Hena mimang dah hena utok utok sening bahay tare ko ay adunin nasi you story aduga chak aduga ay na complimentary drinks o ina ay isang nasem jaba ako yi ah tilipsi bamboo the fermentary hega three years fermented ba bamboo tili adu surf tawag na kamsa perfume. I understood everything. Yes, food is the language. Food is universal language. But basically, she's making a healthy approach, and she's also a tea connoisseur. Okay. And she brews her own tea and okay. makes tea. And you serve at the restaurant also, right? Yes. Your... Oh, okay, nice. Please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry. This is the yam. You season anything? Uh, I didn't season. <coughs> I just uh, garnish the salt because some of the people they don't want they don't want to have salt, so I just season. Salt is also seasoning. Yes, salt is yeah. seasoning. Uh, I mean, I didn't so marinate. Oh, okay. I oh, you marinate. okay. But you sprinkle salt. Yeah, I yes. sprinkle salt. salt. It's season. Thank you. You can start your chips company. Mm. Uh, I forgot to serve. So uh, this is actually in Manipur we used to make bora. So instead of using basin, I'm using chakha powder. Okay. What is that again? Chakha powder. Chakha bora. Okay, chakha bora. Yeah. Okay. This is yam. 
I like your chips. They are really good. The chicken dish, uh, it's familiar. It's a familiar, uh, what do you say, flavor profile. Ko, dum ako na suot char galay pa no mangka pa si di ako yung may kaya dawer gusto dum kasing ganga uba kopi. Sorry, kamen kara hapa ganga uba. So you have used chicken in that way, like, and your approach is healthy approach, which is like very, what do you say, what you are clear about what you are thinking and. The way you have executed your dish, you are clear about it. So in that way, you have done a very good job. And the tea, I find it little too hard on the throat. Like what is what is it actually? Uh, that is Camellia chilensis tea. Okay. Uh, it's a just complimentary drink. Or maybe if you add a little bit more water, uh, because yeah, it, actually, karakui na thamraba. Oh, okay, maybe because of that. Photo session tau ni hara yan na ay si kita ng kuina sum thamjin thamraba yung boss har saaning bagye. Actually, I don't pour no, I cover it and I keep it. Ado yung tapo. Okay. Otherwise, Otherwise, I enjoy actually, it. Actually, we used to cook it for around uh, four to five minutes, but six, seven, yeah, we'll okay. Uh -huh. So that's brewing, right? Yes, brewing and brewing. boiling, they're different. Yeah. Mm. So keep that on mind. And yes. we understand it's competition and you have like time limit and time frame. Mm. I don't know, but uh, otherwise, it's very nice. Mm. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Chef. Chef? Uh, <clears throat> so you have your own tea this thing brewing company, right? Yes. So you can add up the chips company into it. So the chips is really nice, you know. Thank you, sir. And about Nong Mangka, yeah, I agree I with you, Chef Nick. Nick, it's we are familiar with the flavors, and I think the chicken is little dry. Actually, it's uh, supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, if it is too. So as we were mentioning the first contestant, the thickness of the sauce, this doesn't have any sauce to accompany like when you are having a uh, chicken is protein mm. then you have starch which is the rice and chips which is again dry so all three components that you have given all three are dry so you need to have some sauce right, right, so that right. it can go inside the throat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you find it a little difficult yeah. and also uh, health I can fully understand everybody is health conscious nowadays but uh, you mentioned the tea to clean, cleanse the palate, no? Yeah. But tea, uh, the chicken, a little bitter. Mm -hmm. Then again, if we have the tea again, then it contradicts with the bitterness mm -hmm. of the thing. So these two things is again creating more bitterness in the mouth. Mm -hmm. So we have this uh, five senses mm -hmm. that we play, sensory organs mm -hmm. that we play in cuisines food wise na? so it's sour salty spicy all those things comes and then the sixth note comes which is umami yes. flavor to it so yeah means very good attempt but uh, try to work on having some sauce to go along with it or even some boiled vegetables to go along with the rice no? uh, uh, so let me clarify something uh, actually i'm using sauce Ayi recipe ay na sama matamda ay sauce yung stoze ko yisirar kong chili with nuts kung may store ko today because of the time at the ay sisum at sila patok kare rice yao from nina we can serve with rice and then those who don't want to serve with rice they can have the sauce so actually I'm preparing sauce ay ay recipe ay na tigo ay siya mas niya dun today ay the version yah so sorry the sauce was missing okay thank you thank you Thank you, contestant number two. Up next, contestant number three, Kaying Wan from Ukru.
Good afternoon, judges. Good afternoon. Today, the name of my dish I have named as exquisite tanko steak. I have come up with this uh, name because I want you to feel that you are at a high-end restaurant attending Shanghai Festival. Okay. <laughs> Uh, sir, uh, I have prepared a tanku steak, uh, which will be hard but doable. I have, I have prepared, prepared it. Uh, it's my it's own my innovation. Own. I hope you will enjoy it. And preparing this, uh, I have kept in mind the team of this uh, organizing this competition. Mm -hmm. So I have used only organic herbs uh, and organic uh, method of cooking, plus only organic ingredients. Thank you. Organic. <coughs> Thank you. How did you cook the meat? Sir, first uh, I have marinated with fusong tei oil, okay. uh, salt, uh -huh. uh, then I have uh, marinated for around 6 hours. Okay, 6 hours? Yes, okay. Pre-marination. Yeah, pre-marination. Uh -huh. After marinating it that way, well, I fan fry it with fusong tei oil again for uh -huh. around 15 minutes because uh -huh. I want it well done. Uh -huh. After then, uh, I have cut the steak into uh, this size uh, pieces. Uh -huh. Then I cook in old traditional method of tangku uh, okay. pudding, adding uh, salt uh -huh. and soya bean, uh -huh. which I have uh, taken out all the hard one and only just the syrup. Okay. Then I have uh, cooked it all together till it becomes dry. Okay. I, I'm doing this way because I want it to be hard but chewable sure. and uh, keep all the taste of the tanku way of cooking it. Okay. May I? Yes, please. please do. And I haven't put any rice because I want you to enjoy this stick with the vegetables. That's perfectly fine. Oh, sorry. First, right? uh, so it's a uh, sayote uh, olive oil. Coyote, you said? Coyote, yeah. Coyote. Oh, okay. Uh, the squash. Ah, uh, squash. Uh, In uh, South, they no, call sir, it uh, It's not coyote, it's olive oil, but uh, wild olive oil. Wild which olive is oil. found in Okro only. Okay. okay. How do you process the oil? Like, how do you extract it? Can we see the oil? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. It oh, is. No, I'm also hearing from this thing. <laughs> You can, can you? Yes, sir, I hope. It doesn't have any smell. Uh, we have this, uh, we have for mm. Then, like, it's yes. hard, the seed is very hard, but if you take out that cover again, it has no seed, and from there we have to grind it, and like, it's very rare, so only a few people of Tangku knows how to process this. This is what you should be showing us more, right? Yes, sir.
to call it a state, chef, do you think it's uh, debatable? Very much. Because it is almost like a texture of beef that, jerky. Right, chef? Yeah, okay. beef jerky, like that. It's a very nice the flavor profile. Are very nice. Very good. But the meat needs a little work. Mm -hmm. It's still tough. Yes, sir. And uh, your concept and idea of the vegetables and uh, stuffed onion with potato. That was really It's good. good. But salty. Salt. Very salty. Okay. Have you tasted yourself? Uh, so steak I have tested, but uh, regarding the vegetables, onion and all, since I limited, I haven't tested. No, no, but you, you, it takes should one second. Al you should always remember, as a chef, mm -hmm. if you are cooking for somebody, you have to taste first, then you have to give to them. Okay, sure. Always remember, Thank sir. Thank you. This one? You're serving this? Uh, yes, sir, of course. What is this? We Tanko always Favorite have something food. citrus. We tanko always have something cit uh, citrus after having meat. So uh, this is like I use local honey, mm -hmm. lemon, local lemon, and uh, mint for mint. digestion. Mm. We'll ask later. I couldn't eat a lot of mint because it's very hard to find mint this day. It's okay. But I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you. So it's a short glass. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, contestant number three. Up next, contestant number four, Sopemi from Kamjong District. Good afternoon, judges. Today I prepared tea time uh, to house cake with uh, lemon and ginger tea. And I make this a bit coarse, the texture, mm -hmm. with, um, light dry cake. Okay. What is that white thing on the green? Why does it not run? But my dash is in and then I try it away or what? But this is the traditional way of making, is it? Or your own way? Yeah, my own way. Did you use any oil or butter? Yes, we find oil. You have answered our questions. Mm. <laughs> you know what I would do? Yeah. Locals? Yes. Exactly, so right? I, this one is for tea time. Mm. You have to be happy with tea. <laughs> right. It's a little different when you uh, stuff it like that. No? I really like the cake. Just that, like 
we are looking for something like a chuat pagum ba yar gadi ko sauce to makita yar gadi mama thanda cha ba dadi kitang dry ho gadi but with the tea it's perfectly fine mm. perfectly fine with the tea thank you thank you sweet salt that bitter everything is going to test number 4 up next contestant number 5 yaibi from yai school infa inspiration from burger uh, but the ingredients the elements i've used is what we eat every day so um, instead of a bun i've made rice cake um, and instead of a patty i've fried uh, chicken shredded chicken with uh, sriracha kong chilies and instead of a lettuce or tomato i've used um, pea shoot and cabbage singju uh, for the side uh, replacing french fries with uh, lotus root fry fried lotus root and um, for sauce i've made umaro sauce with tomatoes yeah with tomato and onion you know what's the chili of mm, king chili which you looking at so we do the manipo shoots that are Let us chips. Come mm -hmm. yeah. I have something similar in my restaurant. Uh, when, whenever it's in season, we give, we give it as a complimentary welcome dish. Just fry it and sprinkle salt. Mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't the lotus root cost you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, supposed to be eaten like a burger, but since I okay. <laughs> prepare only one portion, but you can always put the top. I think the hapa, you can slice it. Slice. Mm. Uh -huh. Because the whole concept is to make it look like burger in a burger. Then eating different components. So I think what you do is, <laughs> do you have some more with you? Uh, yes. In the table, on the table. It will take time. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. Thank you, my man. <laughs> Like this, same this. Give me an idea, like if you make a burger with the black rice, mm -hmm. and the same right. concept of blend. We we'll do good in restaurants. <laughs> I'm giving you a recipe, yeah. Make a boy and throw it on. Thank you. You're using uh, singju as a replacement mm. for coleslaw. Very thoughtful. Uh, I mean, chaba matam dako. Flavor me amdo. It's more like 
Ako yung familiar orga, but very something different, and I see the innovative approach. Right. But a little working here and there to be done, and uh, but otherwise flavor-wise, then your idea of <coughs> like, you know the, using the concept of how you serve a burger, chips on the side. I mean, you can definitely like say if someone from outside who comes, you can say this is something that looks like burger, but our own flavor and our own ingredients. Very thoughtful. So, uh, and if I were you. Then I would have applied the sauce on the bottom mm. or the top of the burger buns, okay? Because by the time when we are eating this, we forget this, right. okay? So when you are like serving a burger like in this form, so I want you next time like you whenever you make anything, when you are making like your your concept is burger, so make the sauce on the buns, right? Apply the sauce. But the, and the chicken is, I find it, the flavor is nice, but the little dry for me. Thank you. So, um, flavor profile, very good. Conception, and there is a thin line between, for a chef, conception and execution. So these two we have to balance out. Uh, very good idea, but uh, like as chef said, and I've seen a lot of contestants. When you cook, I think this is the breast part of the chicken. Mm -hmm. So you always have to remember that when you're cooking a thigh, it has more fat. That's why it takes a little more time. But breast is something which is very tricky to cook. And if you are serving in a burger, uh, as for me, when I serve a burger in my restaurant, I never give breast. Never. I give only Thai because Thai is more juicier. So that thing, conception and execution, that uh, it's a, and then like what chef said, the rice, and you can change it to the black rice that is very indigenous to Manipur. So you can use that as a bun na? Mm -hmm. instead of this sticky rice. But uh, it can go well in the restaurant. And Sinju is very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They're learning, sir. I am. I'm, I'm not that harsh. What comes with experience, right? Right, right. But it's good that uh, they'll be taking all your points and they work on it and make it. For me, I'm just here to guide them. It is a guidance for them. Thank you, contestant number five. Up next, contestant number six, Saka from Kapching. Good afternoon, judges. Good afternoon. I give you this dish to me and say, Hogan to Au Yom. Hogan means in our language, pork. Au Yom means filling. In the court. And I use this Haimang tea and with. Uh, fresh chili, green chili, uh, chutney with curry and uh, some ginger and garlic. So she hold this half to the No, half to. Yes, half.
four mashed potato, uh, uh, chopped ginger, garlic, and some salt with some local uh, ginger things. This is sweet and soft. Boring, boring. Get out. We were seeing him cooking. He was boiling the potato in the bitter gourd. Mm -hmm. The potato is also bitter. Mm -hmm. Chef. Uh, your stuffing, you know, your stuffing is a little bland. We have so many herbs to use, right? The stuffing is a little bland. And I would, to cut, you, you know how to cut down the bitterness of the bitter part? If you soak it in turmeric water, it reduces a little bit of bitterness from the bitter gourd. And um, I think Chef was mentioning like to, to me, like you boil the potato in same in the yeah. bitter gourd, yeah. this thing. So it makes more bitter, you know. Um, uh, and um, if I were you, then uh, I would, you know, I won't cut the bitter gourd like this. I will instead hold, make a hollow. Mm. And stuff it, yeah, stuff it, yeah, and then a little bit grill, okay, to give the nice, you know, flavor. So my interpretation of making the bitter gourd again, it will be dif different. Like I'll cut very flat, means make it thin paper, then roll it nicely, stuffing. Because the lighter you make the bitter gourd, the lesser it will be bitter, na. And you make a thin layer, then you can do quite a lot of things with it. Combine it, join it, tie it with uh, spring onion leaves. So that becomes an another addition to the dish. And you should never combine. Potato is a very staple food of the whole region. No? So when you are mixing, boiling in the same water, it, it, the bitterness is imparted into the potatoes as well. Like what chef said, and we were discussing. So you have time to do separately. So never mix those things again. And need a lot of work, but uh, well tried. Um, I agree with chef. What, uh, you can either call the Sort of like steaming it type to and it becomes soft. That times adu matam dena mo kha bagi changse. So either you reduce the size, just kai you know the kha bagi le dona sahi cook to the area kare yau riba. So it's like eating raw. Isa ni si tamzik am pang raba, ni si am let wai ka boko. So think about it. Ito si think about it. Adu na adu mai na kita ng magi uncook area yau boko adu na kha bago mai yau na hiendi boko. And chef na hagi dona sahi flavor do. Uh, potato, mashed potato, the gikan oil, the kitten kitang wallet, Muro to Mataka kitang tay, the kitchen. How the mental level? She gave Magi Chakniama, Muro made for me already. What do you get the Mataka kitang hapagi? Maho to Mug is different because as harbaga, a carbaga, I say it works well. It works. I do never win a carbam of coat let's are it. Okay, not as harbor to be more of oil. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number six. Up next, contestant number seven, Chef Mirami from Ukro. Yes. Today I'm making sand. Sand means 
chicken cooked with rice. Okay. Yeah. And I got Sam. Chef, yeah. Chef. Okay. So today I make it a little bit seasoned, a little bit innovative. Mm -hmm. Because I stuff it all the ingredients, rice, chef, and mashed potato, and some palak, mm -hmm. spinach. Mix it and stuff it inside the chicken rice. Okay. So this uh, flavor will be uh, like a indigenous flavor. Okay. Yes. Thank you. This? It's, oh, sorry, this one is sweet potato puree. Sweet puree. potato puree? Yes. Did you cook the rice before stuff? Yes, I cooked one. Chef, <coughs> your chicken is little dry. Yes. And your sauce is little thick. Wait, so who gets scared to use thai? Yes, yes. The sauce is mm, little thick. Thai, if you roll. And the stuffing needs to be seasoned. The flavor combination is nice, yes. but the seasoning is solid. It's it's using okay. chicken breast and. Yes. Ah, chili, okay, meat ki. Especially chicken cock, like from say a hospitality background or can work at the but uh, it's very what do you say um debatable. Okay, you know the uh ki manipur gi hai ragadi meat chicken like you know what I mean, right? Yes, yes, yes. Can you can 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 laun it's obviously they prefer it it's all depends on how you cook it. Mahi the hapaga thoma gana, mahi do na cho cho laura gadum chava the chaka chava the kem kaidaba. But see the di nangi sauce you know kitan kilanba or I don't have much about the the, the texture according to what uh, we had here. And uh, in terms of uh, flavor, flavor uh, sauce to kai gi sauce nebana sai sweet. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Okay. Sweet mashed potato. Okay, mashed potato. Okay. Very delicate flavor. I'm a delicate way and a hint of like local herbs. Ki magi no to la evko loya pada. Delicate way magasu loya sala pada, which I really like. Like from your plate, I'm able to, you know, start to understand you as a chef, like how you want your food and how you want to present to the people. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, it's a good idea. So like, uh, we have also, like, as a chef, we have also tasted and tried. So it, it's a very good thing that after cooking the rice, then you did the stuffing. Because if you put raw rice into the thing, it doesn't cook at all. We have also tried and failed and <laughs> done, learned from our mistakes. So very good way. Uh, in terms of, uh, is it a stuffed chicken breast or is it a chicken roulade? Stuffed chicken. Stuffed chicken. 
So yun lang, means, uh, yeah, uh, all the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I don't want to be too harsh today. <laughs> Thank you, contestant number seven. Up next, contestant number eight, Usem Hor from Nambashi, Kangjong District. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, please. I'll take some. Okay, happy about pork that shirakum chili. Shirakum chili, yeah, do it. Tomatoes? Uh, garlic. Garlic? Tomatoes. Okay. And what is the leaves that she has put? The leaf? Oh, awa padigom na chahapi daan. Okay, that's the culantro, the Mexican... Um, Mexican coriander, they call it. Culantro, so high Mexican coriander, so high God. Awa padigom, ko yi bread. No yi language, then okay, hai Come in, ga moro miet pa ga. This is a very classic. Ka pay metei or manipuri ki combination hai ga diko. Yam na classic wala combination ni si ki po sa. O di dagi pork, chili, and come in. Katag to yao yao ka. And with the pork, perfect. But. In terms of innovation, Chef, what do you think? That's round the innovation mm. round, Nivaka. It's a little... Hombis. A little underlined, because it's the round of innovation. Uh, this brinjal with some fish that you added, it's Can quite... It nari? Yes, nari. So it's good, but that's what, since, since the beginning we have been talking, Conception and execution. That's where you are lacking. So if you work a little bit on that, your dish is good, but you can make it perfect. But you just need that little edge thing. Eh? So work hard on it. So, uh, around the innovation, we and we are in day seven, right? Mm -hmm. Day seven. So we want to, we want 
us, we want to see you grow from day one to day seven. We want to see the difference. So when it comes to innovation round, you try to create something innovative, right? So, uh, when you're cooking tomorrow, try to, you know, the competition level is very high now. Mm. Okay, the competition level is high. You can't just simply cook uh, ch chilies and uh, what, pork and just ginger garlic, right? You have to lift the level, you have to come a little bit up, got it? Taste wise, no doubt. Mm. It's good. Taste wise is good. And <clears throat> fairness, it's a very refined word, finesse. Na? So even this brinjal, you can have taken out the skin mm -hmm. na? and put the shape into a banana leaf so that we can hit the whole thing. The skin, we have to throw it away. Na? Thank you. Thank Chef, you, Chef, you have high the concept and execution. Do you agree cooking is an art? you agree that? Yanimra? That's where it lies called. Concept hyper executor kudo. Being a chef, that's where you play your art. Chef is giving all the ideas to use the what you say different components and especially the eggplant for the come in though. How you think? What can the can you call? Execution see like that's where you are. So if you are a chef, you become an artist. That's where you play with food. Right? All the best. Thank you, chef. Being very subtle today. <laughs> this is good. This. I like the taste. But just a Mark has a Last ending, never. Right? Thank you, contestant number eight. Up next, contestant number nine, Athini Teresa from Senapati. Good afternoon, judges. Good afternoon. Uh, today I present you chicken on the roll. Okay, chicken uh, on the roll? On the roll. <laughs> Um, I uh, use the chicken breast and then uh, flatten it up and use some few stuffings like spinach and oyster mushroom and there's another mushroom that we get uh, in the oil. Uh, the small we, one? Yeah, the small one. We uh, call wood, it as... Wood, uh, wood deer mushroom. No, 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 not wood deer. Then? It's a... Uh, I don't know but then we call it as a um, puppy. So it's a little brown. It looks like the shiitake. Okay, okay, looks okay, like okay. And then on the bottom, I use the the walnut chutney. It's a walnut chutney. I mm. mix what the uh, local mm. one and the other one because it's very hard to <laughs> remove oh, okay. the uh, walnuts. And then on uh, the rice, I pan roasted the millets. Mm -hmm. And then today it's a little different. The other day I soaked, but mm. today I pan roasted and then cook along with the rice. Thank you. Thank you. We call it uyen. What is there? The mushroom. mushroom. Oh. What is there? Uh, it almost oh, tastes like shiitake mushroom, but a little it's mild. Small one. Uh, it becomes a big one also. It looks like umbrella. Uyen. Shiitake almost similar to shiitake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So she also has a restaurant? No, I don't have. I'm just. <laughs> is that your dream? To have a restaurant? Uh, yes, yeah, something. Something You're like working that. Working somewhere? No, I'm not working for uh, I'm just like a, I was in the um, media before. Okay. And then. And I, now what do you do? I love baking, so I started baking okay. at home. So now you are doing savory? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Hopefully, this is promising. Yes. Then, yeah. <laughs> last time. 
she cuts it, you can feel the chicken. Mm. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> Sauce. So okay. This is called sauce. Yes. Yes. Put mezinga, right? Yes. In the sauce? Yes. I use, uh, I season the chicken along with the, uh, with a little bit of smoked, uh, Chili. I smoked on the fire and then mixing up and a little bit of salt. Do you have more walnut chak? Yeah, uh, yes, I have. Why did you pay so little? <laughs> no, no chefs got it. Yeah, I didn't got it. Either. Can I bring some? <laughs> yes, please. Chutney. She should have given in the first place. Yes. <laughs> Just joking. But uh, concept, idea, all good. Uh, it's good. As a chef, we've been since the beginning of the judging, we've been telling about sauce, 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 sauce. So when you pour this, you see the glossiness that comes out, no? So this is called sauce. So when it's water like that, so uh, doesn't make sense. And you don't, when you eat the food, you really want to enjoy. That's why uh, customers, they go to the restaurants and they try new foods. Food is something which is evolving and thank you. So till now, there's contestant who have been cooking chicken breast. Mm. It's all dry till now, but yours is, you know, hit that point. Yeah. And plus, I am a meat lover. I don't like vegetables. Okay, mm. but your vegetables are perfectly cooked. Yes, it's it's perfectly cooked. to the bite. Yeah. Yes, it has the crunchiness. Al, we call al dante. It have the crunchiness, you know. But you miss uh, serving me the walnut chutney, so uh, <laughs> I, it would be really nice to have this with the chicken. So that means chef is asking for one more piece. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Tels. Thank you very much. Thanks. I enjoyed it. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, contestant number nine. And finally, contestant number ten, Marvin from Chulachampur. Good afternoon judges. Good afternoon. Today um, I name my this as uh, winter's meal because at this time of the year uh, we 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 are both consumers. We consume both a lot in this cold weather to make our body warm. And along with that I cook this smoked pork with akuni and dried uh, Tar leaves. Tar leaves. 
and then I smoke this um, taro on a fire over there and just to showcase that um, we the tribals in the winter when we sit near the fire we used to uh, have this taro um, as a snacks so and this one is baked pumpkin and this one is uh, green chili chutney with uh, mari thank you so much <laughs> Thank you very much. Has been here since day one. Yes. Three fifty for now, like three fifty, three sixty. And chicken? Chicken one eighty to two twenty between that, depending where it is bought from. Mm. So taro this nari? No, no, no. What? What? I ate that. Innovative approach to your First dish. of all, uh, the the recipe is local okay. actually, mm -hmm. and then uh, the the plating is contemporary. And we we the paite we never eat this baked pumpkin and all. Okay. And and along with that, we never serve together with pork. Okay. So I'm, I just want to infuse uh, the ingredients which we never eat together mm -hmm. into one plate. What do you think the combination of pork and the pumpkin? The taro leaves, no? mm -hmm. it's having a little bitter, mm -hmm. bitter taste. Then the pumpkin, how did you cook it? First I blanch and then I, uh, I bake it in the oven. Okay. It's having a sweet taste. Yes, mm -hmm. these pumpkin are actually sweet. But uh, it's a little, little bit confusion mm -hmm. because you have dry fish, then you have akuni, which is the fermented soybean, then you have baked, then you have uh, that um, napa leaves in the uh, taro. So four or five things are coming in the mouth. It's good to use uh, local ingredients, but you'll have to be very subtle when you play with flavors. Flavors yes. is something which is 
it means it's a good idea that you have put the taro mm -hmm. in the fire. Yeah. It's giving that smoky taste to it. But you can work on the presentation also. You still have another couple of these competitions left. So all the best for it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Chef made a very good point saying you can use different ingredients like we have so many dishes Chagimpomba has like so many ingredients 15 20 ingredients but when it is presented as a dish the flavor is just one like the harmony you know you can use different ingredients but it should be in harmony like a symphony you know that's what you should work on right thank you so much Well, it was not harsh. <laughs> so, with contestant number 10, we have come to the end of judging round. I request all the contestants to please come forward here for the final words of advice from our judges. No, I'm not going to say anything. Chef, she is the special guest chef. We are saying everything. You must be tired, so you come and see today. have done very well. We are not professionals, so we don't know how uh, to judge. But just looking at the food, they were just amazing, you know, coming up and the plating especially, very well done. And ways the marks will be given by our judges. <laughs> uh, maybe you can start with Chef Nikesh. Viewers, in so can I manipulate them? For everyone to understand, uh, chef na nasai hagi ba point pe hamdo lokshan ba like individually critic tau give sing doka nijo mga mika so chef na hagi sing doka like how you uh, this is just from our experience nevo kasi day from our uh, hospitality background and experience to be matu mina hagi bani but individually ko mina how the ingredients or in terms of use of ingredients or say I cannot over um this some uh some execute or put execute na side ki palina concept and execution though uh to get the focus to already go because we are nearing to the directory vocal competitions in round kya kar nahi so first one two three four five pow round say everyone's equal like we are uh liberal in terms of um Giving marks or mark people, but now for the city, no taragi marks the kanana no. Who is the person standing out kanana? Have you thought? Do you know what they say? Aduna tomorrow is we have childhood memory, right? Huh? So aduna focus on. I say kamaina may amgi distressing si dagi kamaina stand out to gani. Flavor wise, the loy na mag it's all good. Or maybe here and there, ko cooking technique to kitang. Soy bayawi, but uh, in terms of flavor, the I really liked it, and think about God the hanging the present of the river dish to the kamaina. My how do I put my heart and soul, and how do I stand out? Because confused, confused soy ba amani ay na na side thing nagi na side preparation to bata. So I always say, don't my chat thong bata. Ay di ka dawi yung da. Hoy restaurant dawo di ay thong bata. Isay thayan ta ni na yung da di ay. I play a music that I like to listen, you know. It's always hard to me, kind of. It's always hard, you know. Sometimes I have like juice kumam thaga so so harau lagi to me, bago it will reflect on your food, right? So all the best for tomorrow, and let's have uh, some suggestions and you know tips from our special guest chef. Ah, uh, good times. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, uh, thanks to Chef Shang for inviting me. And 
when she called me and she asked for uh, me to come here, I couldn't say no to her because I have known Chef Shang since I was way back in 2013-14 like that. So it's been almost like a decade, decade that I've known her. So I can't say no to her. So I came, and uh, it's been a, it's a, it's a very good platform that she has created, and coming to Manipur back and giving something back to the society, you know. And uh, it's time for you guys to give back to the society now. And uh, talking from the competition perspective, like. Uh, this is the season three of the competition and then it's a competition and there is a lot of uh, uh, contestants who participate in the competition and somebody has to win somebody has to lose but uh, winning and losing is something which uh, we have to take it in our heart there are chefs who have participated four or five times in the Naga chef cooking competition also which I have been judging so even if they don't win for two years the third year they will come and they will win and they will make a something out of it so patience and perseverance is the key and then uh, as a chef uh, we are also still in the learning process and uh, as a chef we can never say that we ha we know everything because food is something which is endless it's much more bigger than the ocean you know so uh, it's endless so every day is a new learning process even me coming here I've learned quite a lot of things from you guys I'll take back and I'll try to do some innovations with it but uh, when somebody gives you a criticism that is not a harsh it's a harsh reality that you have to face and once you know how to face that criticism then you will overcome that criticism and then you will shine so that's the whole purpose of us judging the competition and uh, means uh, uh, it's so good to see local chefs coming back and giving back to the society like we have here a chef uh, on each of my side and I'm I feel proud because when we were starting 2012 uh, there was this craze of chefs because of master chef australia master chef uk you know at that time local chefs were not there but now you see competitions are happening happening everywhere even in mizoram they had this food uh, workshop where chefs were allowed to go and demonstrate some cooking things so uh op you'll get opportunities but uh, so it's all about patience patience is the key to success so all the best to you all for all all those things and whatever constructive criticism we have given take it as a feedback and try to improve from <coughs> there and I wish you all the best and hopefully you can come to Naglen also and visit the Hornbill festival because uh, chef Gary Michigan is coming uh, from the second till the ninth He's also going to be the guest, ju guest judge for um, the Naga Chef Cooking Competition Season 9. So if you are free, come by and get a picture with him. <laughs> All the best. So continuing with both the judges have given the, their advice. Uh, when Chef Nick mentioned like, in terms of taste, everyone is nice. What does that mean? That means the competition is very high, right? If everyone is good, then we have to raise the bar high, right? And coming to this, uh, we are going to have day eight tomorrow, right? When you make something, you are in that level now, day eight. So don't just, you know, make a simple list and present, present it like makes something that from your side innovative right put that thing so that that thing will like shine right if you are making just tomato or ginger garlic that we are eating from day one so we can't see your growth we want to see you grow right it's the eighth day so uh, <coughs> and 
Yes, you are very, you know, uh, lucky to have uh, Chef Joel. He was recently awarded the best, uh, in best 30 chef award, right? He was among those 30 best chef in India. So uh, you have, uh, you know, you are very lucky to have him as a guest judge. So good luck for tomorrow, everyone. Then. Thank you, everyone. She has written here for me to travel, but nothing is mentioned on the recipe. Thank you once and again no to all our judges. A big round of applause for them once again. Thank you. As tomorrow is childhood memories, all of you please go back, relax, and think about all the sweet childhood memories so that you will be inspired to bring out the best dishes tomorrow. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow.